Hello, it's been a while since we had a segment about our powerful microscope. Today, I went to a large lake on the outskirts of the city. I wonder if the micro world of this lake differs from the lakes within the city itself. Even various types of wild ducks swim in this lake. But unfortunately, the shoreline is dirty, with trash floating in some areas. I purposely stirred the water to take two samples, one from the lake bed and the other from the surface. Even without the help of a microscope, microorganisms were noticeable in the sample from the lake bed. Previously on our channel, I took water samples from a lake located within the city, and the results were amazing. The video material I'm about to show you is already five years old. Back then, numerous interesting microorganisms were found. However, I had less experience at that time, and for some reason, I thought it would be easier to find microorganisms in a one and a half liter bottle of water than in small containers. Among the amazing microorganisms I encountered then was a colony of rotifers, which didn't even pay attention to being under the microscope and continued to hunt for smaller organisms. Their bells serve as a mouth trap, helping rotifers sustain their livelihood. For some random reason, a tick larva was found in the water sample back then, the same ticks people fear when going camping or on a picnic. And now, before you, is the famous hydra. The body of the hydra has a cylindrical shape with a mouth opening and tentacles on one side and a sole for attaching to supports on the other. There are from four to 12 tentacles. The creature itself, from a life form perspective, is a polyp. Next come Daphnia and Cyclops. Cyclops are freshwater planktonic crustaceans that inhabit almost every water body. They serve as food for many species of fish larvae, and fry. But they also consume a multitude of different microorganisms. Thanks to the feeding activity of Cyclops, natural water becomes clearer, improving its quality. Five years ago, I didn't stop at studying only freshwater bodies and decided to take a water sample from the Black Sea. For this, I had to pack not only beach accessories, but also filming equipment with a huge, heavy microscope. Then, in a drop of the Black Sea, I saw a multitude of plankton. Just look at how many microorganisms are in a single drop. Under magnification, marine algae dazzled with their cells, and it looked extraordinarily beautiful. In the sea sand, I found a microscopic shell. Its size was literally similar to a grain of sand. And now you see a water sample from a new lake. Unfortunately, I couldn't determine what organism it is. If any of you are experts, please write in the comments what it is. Now we are observing some kind of flatworm variety. It looks very beautiful, and you can see through its entire body, observing how its internal organs work. You're already familiar with Cyclops, but this one is slightly smaller in size. Its legs and antennae are clearly visible here. This looks like another type of flatworm that moves by spiraling its body.
Here is someone's egg clutch. I had to sift through every drop of water from the sample to find something interesting. This whole procedure took more than five hours. Now, another cyclops has been caught, but this specimen is larger. These agile organisms are very similar to Euglena, and this is practically a decomposed cyclops, or the remains of its shell. Trumpet infusoria, or stentors, are a genus of ciliate protozoa. There are about 20 species of them. They are widespread in seas and freshwater bodies. They are commonly called trumpet infusoria. They can contract sharply. I hope you found it interesting. If you want to delve further into the micro world, support this video with likes and comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's all for now. See you later, everyone.